Spring break, it's a little more than a month away in central Indiana. This week, we've been talking about things to do while you're going to be on break, especially if you're looking to stay closer to home because of the pandemic or maybe low on funds, which is likely also due to the pandemic. Did you know Indiana is filled with natural wonders? Maybe you didn't know about all of these because I didn't. I've lived here basically my whole life. Joining me live with a list of beautiful places to check out, Elaine Beadle, Secretary and CEO of the Indiana Destination Development Corp. Good, good to see you. Thank you. Good to be with you. I got to get outside today with my yesterday. I mean, with my family and to spend two hours out in the snow. It was beautiful. So many things to do. Let's start with the Indiana Birding Trail. Absolutely. Uh, the Indian Audubon Society put together the Indiana Birding Trail, which actually includes about 64 great bird watching locations around the state. And you know, with with our four seasons, every every season's different. And it's just lovely in the snow as well as when it's in the springtime. So you need to get out to all of those. We have over 400 documented bird species right here in Indiana. So everything from the dunes up north, to seeing the sandhill cranes as they go through their migration. Uh, it's just a great place for bird watching. Okay, so I used to live in West Lafayette and I don't okay. remember the celery bog. Well, the celery bog is actually made up of uh, five different wetland basins mm. and it covers about 105 acres and another great place to see wildlife, you know, rabbits, coyotes, opossums, and, you know, obviously amphibious type of creatures as well live there, plus mm. another 120 different species mm. of birds, but it's located there. It used to be a farm where they raise celery and onions, oh. potatoes, those kinds of things. But um, as you can guess, being named celery bog is because that was probably their main vegetable yeah. that was there. But uh, because of the wetlands, it's now considered one of uh, DNR's Indiana Natural Heritage Program. I'll tell you what, the photo that you provided, beautiful. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's go to Battleground, Indiana next. Why should we go there? Well, you know, Battleground is very interesting. It's a wolf park and they actually have species of wolves that are endangered and they're trying, it's all about education and research. So in addition to being able to see and observe, go there and observe what's happening, they're, they're every day trying to figure out the habitat and the behaviors, wolf behaviors to help make sure that they don't go extinct. But this is um, about 78 acres. It's 15 minutes from, from Lafayette, West Lafayette area. Again, a great place to have some tourists, to learn some things. And you'll also see, in addition to wolves, you'll see mm. coyotes and foxes and even bison. Someone on Facebook shared a picture from Turkey Run State Park yesterday of the falls frozen. But you have another place that you think has the state's best waterfalls. Oh, it's amazing. Thistle Wake Falls near Richmond, Indiana. And it's one of our top 10 falls, mm. waterfalls in Indiana. Uh, and this one is human made, but it's got about 200 years under its belt. In the 1800s, Timothy Whistlewaite uh, actually blasted a, a new channel in the West Fork of the Whitewater River to direct water over this rock formation. And so it's just beautiful. And you'll also see some ancient fossils uh, around that you can you can look through and, and, and kind of explore as well, all the streams and, and the trails that are there. So this will wait falls. Okay, we're out of time. So quickly, the Indiana Cave Trail. I, Absolutely. And it, the fossil beds that falls of the Ohio. Can you give me five seconds on that? Because I thought that one sounded phenomenal. Well, the Ohio State, State, excuse me, the Ohio River is a place where they tried to come through and there was a waterfalls there. So what they've done now, it's a protected area, but you can still go and see all of these ancient um, fossils and different things that were under the water. Very difficult to maneuver at that point in time, but great for us to enjoy today. Excellent. I'm going to put the last one on fox59.com because we are out of time. The bison viewing at Kankakee Sands in Newton County. Young lady, great job. Um, we have so many things to do. If you would like a closer look at these things, fox59.com again slash links.